Hey, and welcome to Witchcrafty. I've been meaning to make a plushie from Undertale for a while now, and I thought I'd start off this mini series with a flowery plush with an evil smile. This is a very easy plushie, and I think it'll be the easiest in the series, as I'll be making the boss version, Sans, and Papyrus eventually. But if you have any other suggestions, please let me know down below in the comments. Before we begin, here's a quick list of everything you'll need. I'll leave this here for a few seconds just in case you need to pause. The colours can be done in black and white if you want to stay true to the pixel art, but I wanted to do the colourful version. The pattern for this plushie is two pages long and is available for free from my DeviantArt Witchcrafty YT. The link is available in the description. Print it off to fit an A4 piece of paper to achieve the same size as shown in the video, then cut out all of the pieces in their allocated colours. Remember to mirror equal parts or leave seam allowance where necessary. The first thing you need to do is to take the two white head pieces and to sew up all of the darts on both sides. Once you're done, place both pieces with the tracing on the outside, align the deepest parts and then sew the two pieces together. I normally fold these pieces into a bowl to help me. Once you've reached three quarters of the way in, flip it the right way up, stuff the head generously and conceal the raw edges with an invisible stitch. Now we can move on to the face details. Take the two red pupils and place them on the black eye back so that they are centred leaning more to the larger side and sew them on with matching thread. Now all that is left to do is to backstitch to sew on the eyes and the mouth to the face. Once that is done, we can focus on the rest of the flower. Take all 12 of the petal shapes and sew up each dart. Then place two pieces together with the tracing on the outside and sew them together. Before you reach the end, leave the side with the dart in it open ready to be connected to the face. Then just flip these pieces the right way up and fold in the raw edges. Repeat this for the five remaining petals.
We then just need to join all of these around the head using an invisible stitch. Try to make it so that there are three on each side of the head. Use pins to help you place things accurately. After that, take the green stalk and sew along the curved edge. Flip it the right way up, stuff it and then join this piece to the back of the flower head. You can use this stuffing to help fold in the raw edges to make the invisible stitch easier. Then, take the two large green ovals with the tracing on the outside and begin sewing them together. Once you're nearly at the end, flip it the right way up and sew up the open end. Connect this to the stalk to cover up the open end with an invisible stitch. This part is optional, but take the grass spikes and sew together the two parts with the spike triangles, leaving the bottom straight edge open. After that, flip the right way up, fold in the seam allowance on the straight edge and join this piece to the green grass base with an invisible stitch. And there you have it! That is how you make an evil flowery plush. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video or found this video helpful and comment down below on ideas that you'd like to see me make next. And while you're at it, why don't you go check out my other videos? I upload new craft videos every single week. Also, just before the video ends, I just wanted to apologise about the late upload. I've been really ill and busy this past week, and I'll be making up for my time off with an extra video soon, so that's coming up eventually. Anyway, I'm just going to cut this short now. Thanks for watching. Bye.